Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network hot take. If you haven't seen a hot take before, well, it's where a few friends get in a basement, give our thoughts, give our opinions on a TV show, movie, or a game, or a comic book. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different, and here to join me, as always, the triple threat, Chris Trio. Gooch, how are you? Good. Good. We're doing something a little different. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the triple threat. You introduced that last week. Yeah, and then I pointed and, it out to you on and Xbox. And I was like, oh, yesterday. you did say that. <laughs> and now I am the triple threat. So yeah, get over it, everyone. Triple threat. Just until, act until, like that's been here. Until like I have a revelation where maybe I think of something different, we'll go with triple threat yeah, for now. I, I agree. I like it. I was trying to like I was actually like legitimately had a thought. I was like, how do I incorporate thief game of the year into this? <laughs> <laughs> There's like no the way thief to do him, it. So yeah, you could, I, I would love, like to be known as the thief. <laughs> that's funny. There's there's a way we'll work it out and um, you'll have that revelation possibly but yeah, maybe here we are we're here to talk what what is the exact name of the comic the Joker 80th anniversary like spectacular okay so it's like a bunch of like little mini stories about the Joker right right so this year 2020 80th anniversary of the Joker which is pretty cool apparently on my birthday April 25th oh. was the first I guess you know 80 years ago appearance of yeah him. yeah I was like. Oh, interesting! I didn't <laughs> guess we got the same. Gooch and the Joker. Yeah, mm, they might be the same person. No. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So yeah, this is essentially. Um, I I was thinking about our comic book podcast that we did like maybe like a year and a half. Was that a year ago? Probably. A year and a half ago. I don't even remember. Yeah. But uh, like, I was thinking about comics, easy comics to probably just pick up and read. This is definitely one of those. For sure. Before we start talking about it, you don't definitely. really need any sort of background knowledge like you probably know who the joker is you probably know who batman is and some of the dc folks if you that's, and that's if it. you don't you've been living under a rock for the past like 30 years so if you i mean you know i don't think there's much to spoil here but like in terms of like they're literally all like probably three pages right About three, three or, or four, four pages yeah. some are longer some are a lot shorter yeah um but i think all the they're basically short stories about the joker yeah Look and up. i uh, meant to I guess pay homage to him across like the different time periods and stuff like that. There's yeah. some pretty interesting, like little cool things. I will admit, a lot of the stories kind of just like went in, went in my eyes and out the ears or like whatever. Yeah, like, I mean they're few. so quick they are ha- kind of hard to like digest because yeah. like you're in and you're out in like sure. five minutes. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There was one I think it's like one of the first ones that I thought was pretty I- interesting. I was gonna say I was I was gonna say let's just kind of talk about them in order. Yeah, it that sounds good. It shouldn't like you know which was the first. Uh, so I think the, I remember the first, with the first one. one is it's like um, the doctor. Yes, I'm okay. I'm just trying to get the title yeah. so you know be a little bit. Da 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 da. As I scroll through this, it doesn't have a t- Oh, scars. scars. So this is written by Scott Snyder. Um, artist is... Huh? <laughs> jock? Huh. J- J-O-C-K. Just Jock. Yeah. Just Jock, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Good, 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 good okay. work, Jock. Yeah, so Scars is pretty much... Joker actually isn't in this, which is interesting. And it's pretty much a psychologist sitting down with like a Joker victim. victim. Mm-hmm. And it, it got me thinking... Wow, a lot of people have gotten fucked up by Joker, <laughs> and Batman just we, not killing him. We have never, <laughs> we have never seen like, like, and then they have that one still of like the kid with like the carved out smile. And, like, yeah, it was interesting people, going like, through all the different victims he's fucked with. Like, yeah, if you think about it, like, there's probably a ton of people in Gotham and like in the DC universe who have like a s- insane, t- insane amount of trauma from yeah. being attacked or being victims. Of course, and of, it looked like she almost like two faced one of them. He almost like like the one like has like a, a scarred face on half, but there, it, it's cool because that is an interesting thought that you don't really, it's a, uh, an angle that you don't really go at it from a lot. Like you don't think about like all the people he's going after. But honestly, like legitimately, first time he does his big heinous act, do you think he's not getting the death sentence when Batman turns him in? I mean, does Gotham City have the death sentence in the laws? You know, I mean, I like not all states I have the death penalty. No, I hear you, but Gotham seems like a particularly awful place where they would have the death penalty. <laughs> I don't know, but that one was pretty cool. It's an interesting idea. Was the next one the punchline one? Yeah, the yeah. next one. So, do you know a lot about punchline? Not really. I know she's like pr- a pretty new introduction. I think she's actually going to become like more of uh, a staying character, uh, like a new kind of Joker sidekick. Basically, she she is another Harley Quinn right. for all intents and purposes. Real quick, before we move on to the next one, um, 
I, I think it's really cool, like, at the end. So the psychologist, like, is diagnosing this guy who really, I mean, like, of course he's, like, a, a medical professional. But, like, he can't really, like, sympathize. Like, this guy is, like, fucked up, like, on, like, a, on, like, a level in which he probably doesn't understand. Yeah. And, like, he's telling him to, like, put his mask on. And, like, the victim is kind of just, like, I don't want to put the mask on. Like, he's kind of going crazy himself. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, he, he's, like... I forget, like, he wakes up or has, like, a nightmare or something. I thought he, like, goes off and then just goes home. Yeah, he goes home, and then he picks up the flower, and the flower, like, spits acid in his face. Oh, dude, in the way it's, like, yeah, not good. Yeah, in his face, like, And then Joker's, like, underneath the bed, isn't he? So now he... Doesn't he, like, smile, and it's, like, him underneath the bed? I'll tell you in a second. I'm pretty confident. Yes. Yeah, it was a cool one. (laughs) Yeah. Good art style in that, too. So, like, yeah, he becomes... like a person in which he's been studying for a while. I assume he, that man is dead though, after getting full acid Possibly. to the face and having his, we don't know. Basic full, basically. But full. the next one is called what comes at the end of the joke. This is, um, James Tynion, Tynion. That's hard to say. And Spell. Michael Janin <laughs> was the artist. So yeah, this is like a, it is actually a lead up to another comic. Cause at the end yeah. it, it, it Sorry, my, my audio's. Jeez, not Gooch, off. what is this? <laughs> this is a fucking polished podcast. <laughs> this is amateur hour. Yeah, so this is like an origin for Punchline. Yeah, and we were so like Punchline is essentially a new girl Joker girlfriend. Yeah. I don't even know if she's like, his side, girlfriend. I don't know if side but like kick. sidekick might be the better thing. Yeah. And she's kind of like an angsty um like college student and essentially She like kinda idolizes the Joker. the Joker. And yeah, and it kinda leads up into that and she kind of uh she like just it kills the flower dean, right? gas or laughing gases her like dean. She's like smoking a cigarette and blows the smoke in his face, right? Right. And yeah. the cigarette is like laced with like laughing, laughing gas. gas. And I'm like I-, I gotta admit, like I like Punchline's look. Just talking about punchline really yeah. quick. I w- I'm interested to see what they do with her because I really think Harley is not overused, but like we've seen so much of Harley. We've been Quinn. inundated with her for the past like couple years for sure. Yeah, and I mean I'm not even talking about just recently with like uh, Birds of Prey and no, like, yeah. Suicide Squad, but like we've seen a lot of Harley. Yeah. So it's it's good to see them either do away with her and kind or of again, bringing like a new take. I feel like that could add like a a cool what is it third wheel. To, to that whole Joker and uh, Harley relationship, too. Like, th- I, I could bring some more interesting things, even with Harley. But, yeah, I, I like her design. I think the idea is cool. I don't think it's all too original, honestly. But, no. you know, it is what it is. It's another Joker kind I, of I think it's kick. hard to, like, when's the last time DC and Marvel did, like, really good new original characters? It's like, it's, it's not, been a- it's like a dime a dozen. Like, maybe Miss Marvel's the last one that i can think of off the top of my head because miss marvel is like 2011 like yeah, she's not but I don't that even old. like uh, like i guess she's recognizable but like i don't hear too many people going like where's my miss marvel thing like yeah like i like and she's even like using a different like i'd be curious to find out what the last totally new non-spin-off character is that has done yeah well. miss marvel's you know, kind of a spin-off you know what right, i mean yeah, right. yeah they're not she's not totally original i mean she's an inhuman too sure so yeah good point the next one is the one. The reason I thought about doing this, uh, kill, uh, kill the Batman, written by Gary Whitta and Greg Miller, and then the artist was Dan Mora. And um, yeah, this is why I read this because obviously I'm a Greg Miller fan. Um, for those who don't know, Gary Whitta, Gary Whitta wrote Rogue One uh, and Book of Eli, among some other things. Uh, and this was my favorite one. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I, this is this is what I like about DC, and I think I read DC for the wider world. I do too. And and I I don't really think it's like the one off things. And it's okay. So like, kill the Batman. The ba- Batman's dead. Joker killed him. It's like a year later, right? Is that the idea? Um, I can't. I feel like it's later? saying like I, I don't know if it's a year later, but, but yeah, Batman. You know, ever Batman is out. It is Bruce Wayne. Batman is dead. Bruce Wayne is dead. Joker killed him. Right, and now like you're kind of like Lois Lane is in the Batcave reporting and like gets Alfred's take on it, and she's talking to Superman and uh, Harvey Dent, who is, who apparently in this uh, universe is, has is, not been Two Faced, is not Two Faced or is reformed. Well, I mean, I the- know there are comic arcs and stories where like Batman does try to reform Harvey Dent, and it works. that's true too. That that would make sense. Yeah, I just assume that's one where he didn't go nuts. Yeah, I think it's not. What is his? role judge he's a judge he's not da mm. 
interesting which i thought was interesting i'm not sure where they're pulling that yeah from. but i, I like the whole like perspective of joker being in the crowd and like he's basically just, talking he's, he's like what the person. fuck is going and yeah he's and just he's another just person like his reason for being is the joker is gone, is gone yeah and yeah. he's talking about it. he's like what am i gonna do like go after that that big boy that big boy, uh boy scout or whatever like it's it's good and he and then he just like he's like oh what can i do now and then he ends up in the fucking DMV. <laughs> just, like, basically fucking people over in the most real way without killing them. Like, still being right. a sadistic fuck. So, I have a question for you. What voice are you reading Joker in? It's usually Mark Hamill. Yeah, I feel like. For sure. Mark Hamill, most of these were Mark Hamill. There's one where I read it in Heath Ledger's voice. Or, uh, was it the one where he's like... The bugs and the, the kid and the birthday oh, party? Oh, yeah. For, that yeah. one was cool, too. I forgot I, about that one. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's coming up here. But like this was my favorite one because I just like seeing the impact... Of Batman. Of Batman and I guess the Joker in yeah. a way. And it's so funny how like, yeah, like they're cracking jokes at the thing and like nobody seems to be sad. Yeah, they're celebrating his life instead of just being all down about it. Right. And Joker's like, what the fuck? And then he's like, well, now I'm sad. Like, why are you all sad? It is cool. It, it's, it gets back to that very core arc of like, what is the Batman without the Joker or vice versa? Um, the next one we have is Introducing the Godov Corps, which is written by Danny O'Neill. I thought Danny that one was really weird. And uh, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Yes, I didn't like this one at all. I just didn't, I didn't know what was happening. Like, like, so he so was like, like with a ba- he was like with this team that was stopping like a bank robbery or something, right? Yeah, or and like, he like picks up a newspaper and like the Dove Corps is like a pacifist like like UN group group and like he goes with them and they're not killing and then he like eventually just kills them all. Yeah, they're going like, on like this I mission like- to basically save this civilian population from somewhere. And then Joker's like, well, I'm just going to kill you all anyways at the end. I, I just and I didn't, know I why just he didn't was, get it. I didn't either. It I, really, I didn't really, like, understand it. Like, like, what was happening, yeah. It wasn't, yeah. It was, like, a very, like, yeah. I just, like, w- wasn't a fan happened? of it at all. That that guy who did that, uh, yeah, I follow he's him on awesome. Twitter. Yeah. Um, Ste- I don't even I'm going to t- spell Stephon. it. I really don't know how you yeah. say it. S-T-J-E-P-A-N, and then his last name is S E J I. See, he Something writes another Icelandic. comic called Sunstone, which is like uh like a lesbian erotic comic. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I follow him. <laughs> I, I just don't know how to say his name. I don't want to butcher it, which is usually not an issue for me. I yeah. feel like I didn't read names. The next one, I have to go to this end one was weird. This one's like a poem. Yeah, right? I really like liked that's it. what I. Uh, so the War Within, uh, Peter J. Tomasi and simone bianchi i thought bianchi, that one was a really bianchi. weird and interesting like art style yeah too. so it's written in like a poem by the joker and he's basically fighting batman while all this poem is going on uh-huh. and honestly i really like the way batman's cow looks yeah no it's it's an interesting cool art it's style a, i gotta say it's very different yeah eye catching it's um, but it's almost like written in uh, like or I feel like drawn in a way of like Alice in Wonderland, or even like uh, like I'm trying to think maybe more like even like Alan Moore and stuff like that. Like it's, yeah, it's very interesting. It's very abstract. Yeah, and there's like a few different like looking Jokers, and then mm-hmm. you find out like Batman is like the Joker the whole time. I thought he like killed him and he put kills on the suit. him, yeah. and then oh, is that what he does? I, that's what it looked like to me. Because there's like a few different versions of the Joker, like That's true. in mirrors and stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of being trippy. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. That like one was different, cool. different like way to tell very the different. Story. Probably the most different comic in that one. Uh, the next one is the Last Smile. This one is pretty cool. Uh, Which the one's jo- this? The Joker's having nightmares. Oh, uh, that's right. And yeah. it's, fu- like, that's written by Paul Dini. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I'll tell you. You gotta, yeah. I gotta zoom in. Paul Dini. Yeah. yeah. And uh, artist Paul Dini of Riley of- Rossmo. Of Batman the Animated Series fame, he wrote all that. It's kind of he, it, he, he co-wrote it's, it's all It's kind of almost like drawn in that style. Like it's, yeah, it's very it's a little, cartoony. It's very cartoony, even more so than I feel like the the animated series. Yeah. Was. So the Joker's captured. He gets put on death row, and like basically, like his greatest fear is essentially the bat Batman like laughing at him, mm-hmm. having the last laugh essentially, and he's like getting electric put in the electric chair, and he's like cracking up and then all the guards turn into batman and they're all like cracking yeah, up and, laughing and, he, at, yeah. and he like loses it and he wakes up and harley is pretty much telling this to poison ivy and she's like you know i try to help him but like it's like every night yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too much and it's funny yeah which one was I, next i like that one yeah. too uh i gotta put in the password oh uh, goddamn password was i holding it the whole time i didn't have to do that last time uh, this is Birthday Bugs. This is the one we were talking uh, about earlier. Uh, this one is Tom Taylor as a writer in Justice. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. 
and uh, Eduardo Rizzo. The art style again, very interesting in this one. And this is definitely, I think, one of the only ones that really like leans into like that, like a Heath, Heath Ledger, Ledger like but dirty also kinda... like Jack Nicholson kind of Joker. Yeah, a lot of I, I feel like Joker like predominantly is like drawn and pre- depicted as like the Hamill looking version, like clean cut suit. Has like the hair perfectly, qu- yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't exactly. really see Joker like drawn as Heath Ledger too much. You don't yeah, see him one... dirty and like, e- but even yeah, you no. even see him more in like the the um, the um, uh, the fuck's his name, Caesar Romero. Jared Le- no, oh. Jared Leto look where he's really? like slicked it back hair. It's oh clean, yeah, and like yeah. he's wearing like vibrant things like yeah, that. That that's look. true Ta- for sure. Maybe not tattoos, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this one, <laughs> like, he runs across this kid, and he's looking for his dad, and this, like, weird-ass kid, like, ripping apart bugs. Sociopath, for sure. Yeah, yeah, he clearly, like, sees himself in this little kid, and, like, yeah. he kind of, like, puts together a birthday party for him, and, yeah. and his dad <laughs> pretty... is, like, part of his gang. So and... that's what it seemed like he was going to see his dad, his son was there, the dad's son was there, he gets, he basically gets everyone at knife point to go to a birthday party for this kid, and the kid teaches him a lesson, and is like, hey, don't. Uh, why would you kill them if they you only kill them if they get outside the box and otherwise you just hurt them and then he does the same thing to the daddy cuts off his goddamn fingers yeah it's good it, yeah. it's very interesting Diff- like interesting art style very like not poppy like, yeah the, all the backgrounds are, it's like, kind of muted one um, color yeah. like mm-hmm. yeah it's like there's not much going on and it's not like a bad thing it's just like it, so it, it's a style choice for sure yeah and it works yeah. and i think we got two more which one's this one the, this one is this the Lieber? Oh no! This oh, this is, is the bank robber one. Yeah, this, this one's actually kind of cool. This is called No Heroes. Um, Eduardo Madrios and Raphael. Holy shit! Al Albuquerque. I think that's what that is. They wrote it, and then uh, Raphael. Also so like drew it. this whole one this seemed is like to me beginning of the Dark Knight. It's the or, yeah. it's like it's well it's like the beginning of that, but it's also I like the idea that Joker kind of likes the thought of possibly making another hero for him to fuck with. Because, like, he, this guy is basically, he's like a bank teller or something, and they're getting robbed, and he decides to be the hero and kill one of the bank robbers, and Joker's like, why did you do that? And, like, you, this, if I was robbing you at gunpoint at, in your home, I get that, you, you would try to stop me, but, like, why do it for these billionaires because you're working at a bank? And he's like, well, because it was for the people, I wanted to save the people, and then Joker kills his whole crew, and he's like, he, like, says something like he made the right choice then, and I, like... I don't know. I think I th- like the idea of him finding joy and maybe creating another Batman, like in that way. Like, yeah, I think is but, interesting. And then, like, the cool thing is like they're all wearing like that, the, like the suit with the clown yeah. mask. So, like, you obviously know like the one talking is Joker. Yeah. But like, I, I, I always it's like a cool that little first callback scene to, mm-hmm. yeah, to the Dark Knight. And I think there's one more. I think so. Yeah, maybe two. No, I think there's two. This one is about the what is he? Oh, the mob boss kind of like <laughs> pretending he's Batman and Oh yeah, that one was confusing to me too. So hey, really. So this one's Penance uh, Ooh, excuse me. Tony S. Daniel, um, was the writer and Tamu uh Mori um did the art. Mm. Or no, did the colors. So the Tommy S. Daniel's the writer and the artist. That's interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, so this mob boss is like going to like confess and he's like obviously a shitty person uh confesses and he's talking about how like he like depicts himself as batman like fighting the joker yeah it's like a, like i guess like but a, every no he has like a dream that he's batman fighting the joker and he fails every time right and like i, I it was confusing to me i, I didn't think, really know what was going on i feel like it was like him trying to like see his like fucked up like life better, as a, yeah as like, like he's like i'm just, helping people like, yeah yeah because yeah. huh. like he kills some of his crew and like there's clearly like some beef but yeah. like yeah i like I, I think he's scared of batman at the same time but sure. he also like wants to be batman and confusing own weird way a little bit yeah and he keeps dying in his yeah. dreams and then the joker's the priest and he kills him hmm. that's the end of that interesting uh the next one is joker two fell into the hornet's nest written by brian Azarello and Lee Brajan, uh, Ramejo. God, names are yeah, really they are. hard. They're really tough. Names are really hard. Let me see. Like when when you're like when you're reading names and it's just like you have no context for how to say them. Oh yeah, this is the guy that did. Um, you ever read that Joker? Like it's a very kind of dirty grit. It's kind of that exact same art style. 
Like that again rings more Heath Ledger Joker to me. You know what this one? Sure. This yeah, it's like Heath Ledger Joker, but like the <laughs> like nineteen fifties Batman like Batman and Robin. in there for some reason. It, yeah. re- it reminds me of that one episode of the animated series where they're all playing poker and they're all like telling a story. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's reminding me of because it's, it's like cool. it's Penguin, it's Two Face, yeah. uh, Poison Ivy, some dude who I don't know who it is. It's all like, uh, I like think that was like, like the, that's Domino Mask. I think that's um uh, Riddler. Oh, with yeah. his like purple domino mask because that's what he used to wear. Yeah, because it looked like '60s Batman. Yeah, but he looks like he looks like weird, dirty '80s Joker. But then everyone is like yeah. '60s b- Batman villain or Batman and Robin. Yeah, and he's like he gets his head cut open at this one. Looks part like he gets like a lobotomy or something. Basically, yeah, and, like like he. It's kind of even like I'm looking trying to think back on it. Like I'm not even sure what happened. What really? It. He like he like go, he gets like a lobotomy type thing, and he goes back in his bed, and Batman's there like naked except for his cowl. Yeah, but and like he's, he's like, oh, like you're crazy. here with me, pal. Like yeah. yeah, it's something. I don't know. That one it was it was kind of weird for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is kind of weird. And that is it. That's it. Um, overall kind of interesting I think they're like for 10 bucks especially if you're buying it digitally yeah I would have I would have I would have gotten it physically but yeah. with the yeah, coronavirus you were me, what, what happened again they like they only get as many as are pre-ordered so it wasn't on Amazon to buy physically yeah because I guess like Amazon I mean I don't even understand why Amazon wouldn't have any physical copies because I mean they sell most other comics but yeah. I guess like I uh, Greg was saying that other comic shops don't really have like didn't buy a surplus because they're not open, so they're not going to be selling yeah, anything anyway. Yeah. So they if you had it on pre order, man, how is a comic shop making money right now? They're not. Yeah, like that. Oh. I mean, unless like they're like doing curbside pickup for pre orders, but like our comic book shop on Canny is in the mall. Yeah. I don't even know. Like I was thinking, I was like, the mall even open? Like, I think it's if, going open this Friday. And I was like, in green, but yeah, I was gonna know, say yeah. like, what about what about stores like in the mall? Yeah. I like, think so. I think that will be open. But do they they have to follow the mall's rules? I assume, yeah. It's like we're, you're probably gonna have to wear masks and like all that stuff. Yeah, interesting. Um, but yeah, we we figured we'd do something different. We're gonna be uh, reviewing The Last of Us Part Two um, in a few weeks here. Yeah, stabby, we stabby, it. cut, cut. I like yeah, to call we're it. Still, uh, we're still playing through it. Yeah, how far? How deep in do you think you are? I don't know. I think I'm like I two hours. Pretty. Or I'm like f- sixteen hours in. Really. I yeah, have to check. but I can't really tell how far I am. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm like, doesn't feel like I'm gonna be the end anytime soon. But the yeah, game, I've heard the game is only like 24 to like like 30 hours, and it depends. That's on what I, th- I, th- I thought it was like yeah, like something like 24 to 38 ish, depending on how much you yeah. do extra. G- going back to the comic, yeah, like again, if you're new into comics, I think this is a great jumping in point, especially if you like the Joker. I don't necessarily like adore yeah, would, the Joker by any means. It's I wouldn't even say it's a jumping. It's just a cool little c- Joker comic to read. Like it's like right. it's a little self-contained story that you can jump in on. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I think it's a pretty interesting kind of amalgam of all the different kind of Jokers we've and, had throughout the years, and, and, and why we kind of really enjoy that. And character. And Joker is that character that you can do that with, and exactly. Batman too, and Superman. But like, yeah. not all these characters can like get that. Yeah, it's funny. Like, there's that, some like the Flash. I don't think could get something like this. Like, yeah, he could. No, I think they he could do. Could, but like, it wouldn't be as like the Joker's like it, like that character. It just has like a different. There's a moldability to him. Like, you can really kind of make him into a lot of different things. What's, what's the how, word I'm looking for? Like, uh, infamy? Uh, maybe fummy? Fummy? Is that infa- a- well, infamy is more just like... <laughs> fummy? Infamous, yeah. No, I. he's just more... He's got that legacy. Well and he's And all, I just think you can do so much more with him in that respect. Like, whereas, right. like, the Flash, you have your clear-cut couple of flashes. Right. You know? Or, and even, like, a Batman. Like, one thing DC does so well, and I think the reason I like their stuff so much is be is how they do they really kind of lean into these else worlds and these kind of weird silly and more imaginative versions of their characters that don't really have much to do and i know i bet marvel probably does that too a lot i just i guess i don't care about it as much i i, I just marvel like the doesn't way have as much events and else world s comments than dc like dc has a ton more like of just like little and... one-offs that you can read and just find a different version of this character that you're gonna live with for a minute and i like that like it doesn't need to continue on yeah, yeah, I I, re- I rarely ever read a Marvel comic. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of with you, especially a and no shade to Marvel because obviously they do especially well. Especially like, a I, concurrent rod. Yeah, like I I just I, that Captain America comic looked pretty good. Yeah, it did. Like I like I yeah like I don't with know. his new design. What ever happened to that? I think was it, was that the one where you said Hail Hydra and stuff? I think it? so. I don't know. I they feel showed like him that in the, they showed him well in that received. new look. Like Steve Rogers he came had, like, back. The shield, shield. Yeah, and like yeah, yeah. That's like that picture of him in running in front of the White House was like the only thing I ever saw. Yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, I just I do think mm, DC does this stuff well, and I do I want to see more. Joker are you stuff are you it. reading anything right now? <sighs> no, not really. I've been Besides I've been this, trying obviously. to read more. I actually was just listening to a Weekly Planet where they were talking about a bunch of comics to, to read, like Superman. There's one that I've been really wanting to. It's called Superman Birthright, I think, and it's kind of just talking about like I've Clark been- Kent's early stages, like him becoming like kind of a journalist and like trying to break ground on that end and being like more early Superman. I've been wanting to read American Alien for a long time. Uh, that's been on my list too. Yeah. yeah. I, I need to get back to Injustice. I'm on year four, I think. Yeah. I fucking love Injustice. I'm trying to well, Injustice is so good. It is. That is one like the, the last comic I read, I, I, I bought a few uh Green Arrow and the Black or not Green Arrow and the Black and Arrow, Green Arrow run. Yeah. Of Rebirth, which I, I think is pretty cool. I actually did reread the Aquaman run a little bit of Jeff Johns New Fifty Two is like yeah, I bought I have like his first two volumes. That one's awesome. I really like that because it kinda like does all the things of like well it, it pokes all those things at aquaman of like why people kind of think he's silly like mm-hmm. he like he starts and robs like he stops bank robbers and like the cops are like what are you doing here he's like well i can i can do things on land too <laughs> like i, I can <laughs> but yeah i was uh real quick before we end up uh i was talking to casey he's reading the walking dead and we were thinking oh, really? about doing like i finished the walking dead like like kind of recently um i guess within 2020 like at the beginning i don't know if i ever talked about it but uh i would love to talk about that comic you know what i would love i think we should do one time what is it not miracle man what's the blue and yellow suit booster gold no he's he's like he's more he's an independent comic they just oh invincible invincible yes that's i think i will love i i think we could read that one so i mean how how long is that how many like long. it is <laughs> yeah okay. it's, a, it's a it's not like it's it's, it's not it's a like a, we can read it in like a month and then yeah i mean you probably could we if could, you wanted to hmm. um but we were talking about what we're gonna do next month for the podcast is we're going to be i'm i'm guess i'm calling it comparing red sun yeah or maybe red suns That'd yeah be, there you go Write that down. Yeah, um, yeah we're going right. to – we both have read the comic, uh, mm-hmm. but we're going to sit down and watch the animated movie and kind of compare them and talk yeah. about it because it I'll is – I'll probably a, reread the comic again too. Yeah, it's, a, it's, an, it's an interesting Superman – like One Elseworlds. of my favorite Superman yeah, stories, it, it, for it, sure. It's cool. And again, it's another comic. It's easy to pick up and you're like, you really need to know 15 nothing. bucks. It's not crazy long, but – Art style's great. It's awesome. Yeah, it really and then, and then if you want to watch Red Sun, I it's on the DC app, and I'm pretty sure you can buy it and rent it from most places at this point. It's been out for a hot minute. Yeah, well, you could probably get it for pretty cheap. But is that all, Gooch? That I think. is all. Awesome. Well, thank you all for watching live on twitch.tv slash Duckerner Network. If you've been with us, you can find this podcast on all your favorite services. Just search Duckerner Network. If you can leave us a review while you're at it, that greatly we would greatly appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. Um... You can check us out on socials. We're at Delco Nerds on everything. Uh, all this information can be found on our website, www.delconerdnetwork.com. For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, and we will see you next time.